While the kids were getting ready for trick-or-treating, the world-famous Wembley Arena in London, England was getting ready for KSW 32 on Saturday, featuring five-time World's Strongest Man Marius Pudzianowski taking on Bellator Season 9 heavyweight tournament finalist Peter Graham. Pudzianowski started strong, taking down the Australian kickboxer early in the first. However, in the second, Pudzianowski was tiring, getting picked apart by Graham, culminating in a big finish two minutes into the second round. Wanted it on the ground, he knows he works best there. A big shot goes under, Peter Graham goes in on top. Down goes the ground and pound. Is this the end of that fifth consecutive run from Marius Budzianowski? Will Graham end this here now? He's really putting the pressure in. Referee's gonna have to make a call here. Graham not really landing clean shots, but Budzianowski in trouble. Budzianowski not offering intelligent defense, and that is it, that's all over. It is all over! It's a win for Peter Graham! That is gonna be the most unpopular decision of the night here. With the referee seeing enough, the kickboxer turned mixed martial artist gets his 10th TKO victory, improving to 12 and nine. In the co-feature, the KSW 170-pound title was on the line as champion Boris Mankowski took on UFC and Strikeforce veteran Jesse Taylor. After some back-and-forth grappling to start the bout, JT Money went for an ill-advised takedown, which Mankowski would counter with a guillotine. Oh, and there's the jump guillotine! He's got it! It's a tapper! It's all over! Whoa. Boris Mankowski with the guillotine! What an absolutely slick move! With the victory, Boris Mankowski retains his welterweight title, improving to 18-5-1. Looking to make his KSW debut a successful one, Tough 10 alumni James McSweeney took on Marcin Rosalski. McSweeney dominated the opening of the bout, rocking the Polish fighter with knees and punches and following it up with a rear naked choke attempt. A lot of time to work with. McSweeney stretching him all the way out. And that's a tap. That's Man. a tap out! My goodness gracious me! The back he went for Hadaka Jime, and that was an absolutely brilliant, brilliant choke out. I didn't think McSweeney was going to do this, but he has. There's the choke, and it's all over. Next up, we had the KSW light heavyweight title fight as champion Gorn Relich looked to make his first defense of the title, taking on Poland's Tomas Narkun. This one didn't take long, with Narkun landing a big counter right hand, which sent the Croatian down to the floor. And Tomas Narkun was clipping him early, and Raliyic countered beautifully, but now it's Raliyic who's on his back, and Narkun is waiting down death from above, that's it, that's a wrap. What an incredible stoppage! Who would have thought that Thomas Narkun would have taken the victory so early? What an absolutely stunning performance here. Goran Raliyic hit the mat, and he never came back. Thomas Narkun cannot believe what a day he has had in With the victory, Tomas Narkun becomes the new KSW light heavyweight champion and improves to 11-2. Also on the card, undefeated Polish prospect Matus Gamrat took on undefeated Russian fighter Marif Parayev. Takedowns were the deciding factor in this one, with Gamrat taking down Parayev multiple times throughout the bout, tiring the Russian and going for the finish three minutes into the second round. And now again, dropping down those hammer fists like Donkey Kong. Absolutely powering in on the ground and pound. The referee moves in. It's all over. Finish there by Mateusz Gamrot. Landing some hard hammer fists, Matus Gamrot gets the TKO victory, improving his undefeated record to 10-0. In an exciting welterweight affair, Polish fighter Rafał Mox took on Bellator veteran Jim Wallhead. A back and forth first round, Wallhead would get the better of Mox in the second, landing a big right hand which dropped Mox. Run into one of uh, Wallhead's big bombs. We're halfway through the second round, and there's a big right hand. Down goes Mox. He's on top of it. It's a knockdown. Scoring the big win, Wallhead gets his 10th knockout victory. Former UFC middleweight Mikel Falcao took on former Bellator title contender Brett Cooper. Just a minute into the first round, Big Rig landed a big right, sending Cooper to the canvas. He hasn't finished an opponent with strikes oh! since October 2011, but there it is, it's the knockdown! Down goes Brett Fudashin Cooper! Oh my goodness me, Michael Falcao stretches him out with a right hand 
right across the Atlantic. Look, Michael Big Rig Falco earned his name in Brazil on a stream of knockouts, which was unprecedented. He's come to London tonight, the road to Wembley, and has delivered the big cup bang. Man, what a knockout, Will. Scoring the 24th knockout of his career, Mikel Falco improves to 35 and seven.